Black Pine Bonza adding a piece of screen. I uh, measured the cut. And if that fits down in there, hopefully it'll just push up. Okay, grab it. Put them in head row lights. See that? Okay, so just to give a little update on the Black Pine Bonsais that I planted from seed. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card uh, where you can watch that. But here is where they are. And what I'm going to do today is repot them into bigger plant planters so they can mature a little further. I'm gonna start by adding a piece of screen that I have here to the bottom of these so the dirt doesn't go through the water holes. So I measured the cut with the bottom of the thing here so I know how to cut it. I will attempt to cut this heavy screen. fine mesh screen it was kind of expensive shouldn't be using it for this but i couldn't find anything else i usually use like a i don't know a piece of drywall screen that you would sand drywall with but i seem to be out of that and i used it. i bought this to make my uh, makeshift uh sif filter for my temporary koi pond and well, that didn't pan out all that well. All that did was make a big stink because I guess it wasn't sealed all the way or something. So I've done away with it and I've got all this extra screen. So I might as well use it for something. You can see in the background, if you can, I've got Quite a number of other bonsais. This is a big ficus bonsai here. I have not pruned it all this year. I'll prune it in the fall. I've also got a winged elm bonsai that's not in frame. And a juniper bonsai and a cedar bonsai that I will prune at some point and upload, probably be closer to the fall. <clears throat> I am still planning on doing the koi pond. Uh, the insulation process is taking longer than I anticipated, but I do almost have the ceiling done. Once I get the insulation done, I put a little clip. I'll put a little clip of that here. Uh, so you can see where I'm at. Yeah, I got most of the ceiling done. I got a couple more pieces to put up. Uh, it's been quite a job, but I will tape all the seams up and maybe use some spray foam or whatever, and then I'll start on the walls. Once the insulation's done, the pond build will begin, which I know is, you know, what most people are more interested in. So I haven't done a lot of updates on the insulation process but all this other stuff needs to be done too so 
filming that now. That stuff's cut me a little bit. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start with those. If you know of a better way than to use this type of screen to block the water holes, please leave a comment below. Be interested in knowing other people's ideas. That's just usually what I've been doing over the years I've been fooling with bonsai trees. Putting some type of a screen so the soil doesn't fall out. Guess fill it about halfway full of soil, and right, so that's what I brought over. Got just basic, if you can see it, basic potting potting mix. And I'm using. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the bottom of each of these. Hold the screen down. So you can see that. We'll let the water drain slowly because it's a fine screen. I don't remember the mesh, but it's fine screen for koi waste sifting. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is attempt to get these out of here. You can see this one. I'll start with, I don't know, maybe I'll start with these smaller ones. These little planter, I like these little planter traces. They catch water, the other one doesn't. But let's see if there's any way to, to get that out of there. Hopefully it'll just push up. I can grab it. Okay, so you can see I've done a number of other pots. I'm going to try to get these other ones out. See, all these weeds grew in here too, which I did not plant, but they have a way of making their way into the picture, as we all know. Bigger ones, which if you know or don't know, I showed the video, as I mentioned earlier, planting in these for seed. And I bought another section of seeds because a lot of these were not doing really well. So, let's see now that maybe these flat shallow planters might not have been the best idea because a lot of these things just laid over. I'm going to leave those three and try to get these positioned in a way to where I can make sure they got good soil supporting them. bigger one that I would love to keep. I'll be honest, I got, I forget, 100 seeds at a time or something, and I was, I had a good ratio of what sprouted, but I'll be honest, these things have been a lot more finicky. I put them in, I had grow lights, and then I put them in plenty of sunlight watered them 
they like a lot of sunlight but I, as they're seedlings I put them in like half sunlight I guess half a day where in the evenings the shade would be more shaded than than um, direct sunlight all day this repotting is successful hopefully they'll have another growth spurt I noticed they sprung up pretty good in these shallow pans but then most of them laid over and died or just drew up dried up I didn't know if I had something wrong with the soil or what and I'm not, like where this one's got some little, I don't know if you can see that or not, but whatever this little mess is here growing with it, I don't want to really disrupt the root. I might try to get, yeah, I don't know, I'll just cut that off, whatever that is. I don't want to disrupt the root. One thing about this tray that had the little individual things that I like a lot better is that they're easier to get out. A lot easier to get out than that this this flat tray. And like I said, this one holds water. So I was impressed with that. I would not let them drown in water. I would drain the excess water out every day, but it, it kept the soil a lot more moist than the other planter did. Now that's cute, right? Look at that. There's too much glare from the sun. See that? That's cool. I'm not trying to bury too much of the shoot, but this one was growing kind of on the side, totally on the side, so. Uh, Trying to give it some more stability. Not 100% sold on this potting mix either. It's, it's miracle Grow potting mix is supposed to be one of the best, but to be honest, it's mostly just bark chunks ground up. Probably should have got some other soil and mixed in there with it but I didn't and this is what we're going with at the moment so made for a really flimsy root system in these shallow trays so do this again I may get a deeper tray to start with these things are struggling to even hold themselves up Still, I'll angle it. I'm trying to angle these where they're coming straight up. And I guess in another year, if I have any left, I'll try to train them starting with some wire or something to give them an initial shape. Typically, I wouldn't do this midsummer, but. They seem to have outgrown these trays, and I'm concerned that if the roots can't support them, I won't be able to keep them. Never had any real luck with seeds, but these did good. I followed the directions and soaked them in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Um, it's basically all I really did. And then I put them underneath a grow light for several weeks. And like I said, I had a good, I had a good turnout on the sprout up. But many of them, most of them in fact, just laid over sideways and dried up. I don't know if that was something wrong with the soil or if it was just the fact that the trays were too shallow. I don't know, like I say, if I was to do it again, I would probably use a deeper tray from the start. 
give me uh, more time before I had to do this step. A few more to cut out here. Save these to last because there's, there's a bush of them. It's always what you want to see in your soil. See, that basically did nothing but uproot the whole thing. Look at that. There's the little root system you can see. And you see it's dirty because it's been laid over and trying to reroot. So I think I'll plant it down about that deep. You can see there's one, two, three and a ball right there. I don't know if separating that's the best thing to do or I think I'll plant that just like that. At least I keep it intact for now. And I'm scared if I separate that, it'll kill them all. So let's keep it intact together right now. And give them more dirt to live in. And if they quickly outgrow this pot and they all still want to stay together, I'll put them in another bigger pot together. All right, so I moved them all down. I found this Coca-Cola thing, which holds eight of them. It'll keep, maybe keep them from turning over as easy with the wind. Or those barking in the background. So I moved them all down to the table near the pool here where they get half a day sunlight and I'm going to water them with this I'm going to try and I will keep you posted